Greetings in the name of Yahusha Mashiach, our King, our High Priest, Kohen forever through the order of Melchizedek, who intercedes for us to our Ancient of Days, Alua, Yahuwah. My name is Malek Shalomo. Today is the 30th of October 2024. It's 2.48 p.m. Eastern Time, and I'm going to do a little trade recap here I did on um, ES Futures, right? So this is my trade and view chart. Um, if you looked at the, the prior video I did, I did like a little technical analysis and um, a little breakdown of where I want to take a trade, right, today. So I was pointing out that we had this um, reversal pattern here, which happened at around... 10 o'clock last night right so that had follow through we came down here um to second lower deviation here that's that line right there and let me just use these arrows right so second lower deviation first lower deviation and that's vwap white line vwap first upper deviation and the second upper deviation and that's anchored to the the eth open right <clears throat> right so moving along we had that reversal there came up to to vwap and also retested camaria r3 so camaria r3 is at 58.83.75 right so we had that breakout first tested up here i have some wyckoff theory um levels here this is my secondary test on the one hour chart <clears throat> we had the reversal there Got the consolidation here at um, at Camarilla Archery in the overnight session. So let me just throw on the the London session VWAPs. So that starts from 3 a.m. Eastern time, right? So we had had some consolidation within those um those bands, and we had to break out to the downside, right? So similar um similar thing right here with those. That's the first, I mean, the second upper deviation. That's the first upper deviation. And this is the VWAP. That's ETH VWAP. That's first lower deviation from the London session and second lower deviation from the London session right there. Right. Right, so moving along here, we um, we start getting the rejection from this level and we start breaking down. So it's a Camarilla R3 rejection. Camarilla R3, the Camarillas is set up in an overlapping higher value relationship. So this is a rejection of the bullish thesis, right? So in the London session, they decided to sell off of Camarilla R3, right? So maybe they took profit at this level, right? So we sold off into the into the rth open right so let me just throw on the pivots here so i was saying in my my previous video this central pivot is one of the areas i'm looking for for a reversal right so if i get a bowling green strategy um entry right here i take a reversal so i actually did that but as you can see we had this sell off here right so this is the open candle right here and usually i um i mark this out Let's see here. Hold on one second. I'm just creating the, the IB range. So the low of this candle here is 58.45.50. So let me just make sure that's correct. 58, 45, 50. All right, good. All right, so this is going to be the IB range. So 10 o'clock candle, the top of it here is, right, that's 10, 58, 77, 50. And I think it's a little different here because within this candle, I think it pushed above for 58, 77, 50. All right, let's see here. All right, so we're good to go. All right, so that's the IB range. 
What do you have here? The midline. All right, cool. Everything is good. All right. So that's the IB range right there. So I tried to take a reversal here somewhere around this level. I think it was on the first candle, actually, the first five minute candle. And as you can see, I got stopped out there, right? So I actually flipped my position and I took something called, so the bowling green strategy is basically, is going to be, wait, I need to put on some here. All right, so we're going to throw on these. This is the RT8 session VWAP. And we're going to take off the others, right? So right here, you see that's the open. I think in this candle right here, when we pop down here, I tried to get a reversal. But um, I'm going to go over to book map and I'm going to show you exactly what's happening with this trade. So stopped out on a bowling green reversal and then we got, I got the 360 fire. So it's basically a rejection of the first lower deviation and um, you catch the short right there with a pivot level somewhere in tow right there. You know what I'm saying? So let me just move this. All right. So going over to book map here now, let's see. Where's the open, right? So this is the open. Same, um, these these yellow bands, first, second, and third lower deviation. Let me just open it up a little bit so you can see that. Point it out. Right, third lower deviation, second lower deviation, that dash line, dash yellow, first lower deviation. That's the VWAP line right there, VWAP. This is the midline, that most um, kind of angled line straight line that's the mid price this one here is vwap right um, the red lines are the upper deviations all the dash lines are upper deviations the solid lines are the vwaps so just like in on trading view i have these um these anchored vwaps from the eth session and the london session so this purple line that's the london session and the yellow is the rth session right so this is the central pivot this is the key pivot level I'm looking at here in the strategy. So after we sold off um, from Camarilla Archery overnight, came down to the central pivot, basically the mean of the market there, um, where the pivots are concerned. Um, we had an initial sell-off, um, some volume, half and half, as, as I told you before in one of my videos. This is total volume. I don't use um, cumulative volume. So I want to see how much is sellers, how much is buyers within the volume bar. Same with the volume dots, right? So we had initial selling that held up. Then we sold off, pop back up here to previous week's VPOC, right? So that purple horizontal line right there, that's previous week's VPOC. We found sellers right there. And let me just open this up a little bit. Right, so we had some support here at basically at the, the bottom central pivot. We came down here, found buyers, buyers took us took us back up. If I was quick enough, I could have caught a bowling green reversal. This is basically um, a bowling green where um, we get like a small little consolidation between minus two VWAP and minus one. We take the minus one breakout, right? We got volume on the minus one breakout, so we're good to go for that trade right there. We have some iceberg buyers, but I didn't take that trade. You know, I'm fresh. I'm fresh back using book maps, so I don't want to take any um any real open range like one minute open range breakouts and stuff like that, or try and execute my strategy too quickly. So <clears throat> we had that push up, nice um nice push through VWAP, first upper deviation, second upper deviation, starting create starting to create resistance. Got that push back to first um, upper deviation from the second. Headed back up to the, the um, second upper deviation, lining up with um, previous week's VPOC. Got the exhaustion right there. Sellers started to come in. You see we have iceberg sellers starting to step in right there. Right. Now I also have this market pulse. This is my VPA. Um, 
if that's the imbalance right there, I call that um, the VPA. No, actually, that's my VPA attack, right? So that's my VPA attack, that's volume pressure. So when that's moving down, just like over here, and it gets darker, that means that there's a lot of selling pressure, right? Um, this one here, that um, fuchsia kind of line, that's showing um, dominance, right? And this, this light blue line here, that's um, selling iceberg. So when the iceberg dips below the, the mean, which is the, the zero line is right here, that's selling iceberg. So selling icebergs coming into play as we're moving up, right? So moving up into last week's, um, previous week's VPOC, selling icebergs starting to jump in. Icebergs coming back to a neutral spot. And um, some stops were coming out. We have this buying pressure right here. And the volume pressure and the volume imbalance was was buying as we went up there, right? So the volume pressure imbalance and the volume pressure started to dwindle as we came up to this level. So if we're gonna break out of this level, you wanna see this up at this level here, showing strength to go through previous week's VPOC. We didn't have that, right? So for me, this is a <clears throat> this is another quick trade at 9.33, that's three minutes in, right? This is a, a Black Sun strategy. I have the pivot level, top central pivot. I also have the Camarilla R2 level. And I have a breakdown of, well, a rejection of first upper deviation, I mean, second upper deviation and a breakdown of first upper deviation. So I can go short here or I could take this retest, right? Cause you see it pull back, retest with a um, smaller bind it's showing exhaustion i could take the short right there with a stop above and just write that down right so didn't take this trade either so i was i was just kind of sitting on my hands and um just checking out what what price action is doing but going over it now is some nice little trades brewing right there so it would have two trades right there already so let's see here so this is when we came down here to the central pivot. We broke VWAP, came down to second lower deviation here. All right, let me just use the arrows again. Broke down from VWAP, headed to second lower deviation, pulled back, second lower deviation again, push back up, retest. Now this is what caught me out here, right? So no selling continuation right you see some exhaustion right there and then we have the push back up so i decided to go long right there thinking well the selling is getting absorbed and it pulled back on me pulled back on me and stopped me out right so i have a trailing stop it moves up right it starts off at nine ticks and then when it moves it trails to four points behind right so 16 ticks behind so it moved up moved up stopped me out right there right so after i saw after i got stopped out right stopped out right here i'm now looking at um sellers taking back control from the the um the eth session and the london session so we came into the rth session with selling pressure right and um now it's looking like the sellers are taking back control right after that rejection of the um previous week's VPOC at 5869 basically sellers taking back control I got stopped out here on the long and I decided to take a, a I call it a 360 fire strategy right so it's basically a rejection of the first lower deviation right so we have the breakdown buyers can take it back up rejection exhaustion right here and we push it back down so right the exhaustion this was where i got stopped out push back up exhaustion sellers coming back in breaking down this level right here volume coming in right here right pull back volume again right volume coming in we have the volume pressure and the volume um, imbalance 
this is i call it vpa dominance and vpa attack right these two right here these two are for um, absorption right so i call it vpa anchor and vpa rollover so when we're anyway i'll get to that so um let me just take this off right so volume coming in right small consolidation like a bear flag broke down second lower deviation came down here retest and then we sell in again so i jumped in here right so jumped in at um 58.59 just above camaria s3 this could have been like a reversal area but i saw like the the selling pressure coming in just watching the order flow watching the the um, volume come in watching the market pulse volume pressure and volume pressure imbalance um spike into the downside increased in selling pressure took the trade right there 365 rejection of the first upper deviation breakdown of second lower deviation the stop loss is um, nine ticks trailing at a four point four points right so it's moving down as my as price is moving down it's moving down moving down trailing down right and it's looking like four points is kind of respecting the the structure of how the market is moving because i was trying to trying to come up with um with a trade management system for this kind of environment where there's there isn't much follow through on certain trades right I'm, I'm getting chopped up a lot if i um if i don't manage the trade properly right so i have to give it a little bit of room because it pulls back a lot right we don't get like a nice follow through to the downside even when it breaks it stops a lot right and retraces a lot so i decided to put like a four point um trailing stop so that's looking like it's it's working out it's respecting the structure of of the pullbacks right we got we got a nice little um when we trail down here this this pullback that was a nice stop loss right there as it trailed down let's see um let's open this up right so you see the breakdown of this structure right here and then the stop loss as we move down um quickly and you can see the volume um the stop stop run this is the stops from the mbo bundle right that's spiking down so it's a stop run we have the volume pressure imbalance and volume pressure move into the downside vpa attack and vpa dominance spike into the downside nice pressure nice volume right there right so nice volume bar and my trailing stop immediately moves down to the top of this structure right here i like i like how it moved right there that was that was perfect right and we held this this level as we consolidated so we moved down a little bit again then we then it moved down probably like one or two ticks so that was that was perfect right there i like the way it trailed that stop so let's see here right this was a nice um a nice trailing stop as well so i'm i'm liking this four point um trailing stop right now because it trailed down to this level here right see we trail down trail down and then as we we um caught these iceberg buyers right here right so iceberg started to come in right we had we started we're still getting selling pressure right the selling pressure started to pull back a little bit we still had the attackers attacking right because that's still dark um purple right there from red to dark purple or let's uh, let's call it burgundy right so that's still at a, a peak end level as we pull back and my trail and stop came just to the right place right there even the ask which is that red line right there the ask came up to it so they never they never hit that um on a market sell right there so that was a good trailing stop right there as well came down here as you can see my trailing stop is trailing trailing and this is um second lower deviation so we came back tested second lower deviation my stop was above it we had another flush down right 
Now, as I was saying about these markets, these um, when you get these these pushdowns, uh, my stop is not going to last forever, right? So, we had another pullback here. Um, I mean, another flush down, right? Nice little flush down right there. We had a little pullback. If this pullback had held, then the stop would been, would have been in a nice place, right? But the stop ended up running into because the second lower deviation is coming down now, right? As volume is is taking price down, and it's coincided right with the second lower deviation. So as we got this reversal pattern, no follow through on the downside again. Buyers coming in, right? And this right here was um, this is like the the VPA anchor, right? This here is showing that there's buying absorption, right? So you see that little spike up right there? That's the icebergs and stuff um, supporting price. So got the pullback right there and stopped me out. So we stopped out at 58.51.50. So that was a nice little trade right there. I like the trade management so far on that um, four point trailing stop. And let's see, I, I marked that one up in um in my Bookmap Academy um chat room. In Bookmap Academy chat room, and um I had another trade as well. So this trade moved down a little more. It moved down to actually this is um pre so I made a mistake um just now there. This is previous week's VPOC. And this one up here is actually the current um, the current um, weekly VPOC, right? So my bad on that correction. This is this one right here is current weekly VPOC. This is previous week's VPOC, right? So we basically had um, like a traverse between these two VPOCs from previous week and the current week, right? So you can see that was a perfect travels right there and actually came right back to it so so we found buyers down here had the reversal this could have been a nice um bowling green reversal as well but i didn't want to push my luck and um start risking more on this trade here just after we came down from this um this selling right so we have the consolidation between minus two vwap and minus one right so we have that little consolidation right there it was kind of quick though and if i wanted i could take a bowling green strategy entry right here and this is not a trade recommendation these are my own strategies that i am working on and trying to perfect right so you need to do your own diligence and um, due diligence and uh, work out your own strategies so it's not a trade recommendation i'm just doing some recaps here right so I could have taken a long right here reversal and let me see if it had volume behind this so it doesn't really have that much volume behind it right here but there is a volume spike we don't have any volume pressure imbalance or volume pressure attack that's that's um in tow with this what we do have is actually a counter trend a counter a counter out of flow um anomaly right here where icebergs are selling right so as this is coming up here we have the iceberg selling into this reversal so that would have been like a cautious re reversal right there see the iceberg started to come back up to this level we started to get iceberg supporting on either side right now so we had the sellers way before iceberg buyers started to step in <clears throat> broke broke through vwap right solid um line right there that's vwap came above the first upper deviation icebergs executing to support price back up to vpoc for the weekly session rotated just above it a little bit And we created the IB high right there. So labeled it IB high, created the IB high right there at 10 o'clock. And I use a 30 minute um, IB range, right? So after that, looking at the iceberg sellers, iceberg sellers are staying, staying in tow, right? We have the iceberg buyers as well. 
right? So it's kind of like um, a tit for tat going on right now. Buyers are winning though. We come back to yesterday's VPOC, that blue line right there. Now, when we get up to the weekly Camarilla R3 level, which is at 58.77.50, we start to get that that um that kind of rotation around this yesterday's VPOC and this Camarilla R3 level, weekly level, right? So we get a stoppage of the uptrend right here. And we start a move sideways. We're testing around yesterday's VPOC. Right, so this is my trade entry right here. Let me see. This is a Black Sun strategy, right? So we had that rotation around um, yesterday's VPOC. And just observing the price action, I'm gauging whether it's going to break down or not. So we have first upper deviation here, right? First upper deviation. We have second upper deviation all the way up here, right? Price is not pushing off of VPOC that strongly, right? We have all these volume pressure spikes here to the buy side, some to the downside. We started to get more um, selling pressure to the downside around this level right here. So you can see there's less buyers to the top side here. So they're not taking a breakout, right? More selling pressure spike into the downside. And that's when I decided, all right, so if these guys here, right? Because the buyers on the buy side, the volume pressure, they're spiking up as well. So they're buying, right? Why are they not moving forward though? Right. So they're like they're trying to go up a hill, a steep hill, and they're just stepping on the gas. Right. So it's, it's VPA one on one. And if you read Anna Cooling's book, um, Volume Price Analysis, um, you would you would um, get a breakdown of how she explains these these kind of anomalies. Right. So you have heavy volume pressure going in, volume pressure imbalance to the buy side. They're spiking up. Right. That green and that blue right there. Right, we have buying absorption as well. That yellow that's spiking up, but yet still these guys are not moving up. Right, we have the spike to the downside as well. So that means sellers are in in play as well, and they're spiking up. Right, well spiking down, so increasing selling pressure. So who's winning this battle right now? It has to be the sellers, right? Because if the buyers were winning, just off of this, they're supposed to be moving higher. Right. But we start to get these lower lows, lower highs, and, and like exhaustion right here. And this is also a um, first upper deviation from the ETH session, that dash red line right there. And all of this is happening just below Camarilla Archery, right? So don't forget that. So we have the pivot level for the Black Sun strategy rejection. And we have a breakdown of first upper deviation. On also a breakdown of Camarilla R2. All right, so moving across here. So entered short here at, what is it? 58.78.25, right? So just as the break, the break of um, yesterday's VPOC, we got some volume here, nothing, nothing to to um to write home about. Basically, we have we do have the volume pressure spiking though, right? They are spiking on both sides, but we're seeing where price is actually leading to, right? So I'm on the selling side. Stop loss is right here, right? We get a breakdown. Stop loss starts trailing down. And again, when we get this reversal kind of pattern, I'm stopped out right there. So in this trade management here, I'm looking at um, just overviewing what happened today. It's working properly, not really giving back too much, right? Although I'm still giving back four points, right? But um, I'm still giving, I'm still giving the, the trade enough room to work. Right now, I'm coming back here to the IB high and the ETH VWAP session. Right now, it's up to me if I want to take the the flush down and just 
and exit somewhere here real quick or I want to let my trill and stop work right so I decided to let my trill and stop work right I think I was actually moving my my take profit down as well my take profit was at 58 68 25 right and it was just it was just um below um let's see here make sure i have the right thing i think that's the vpoc weekly session yeah it is because that is brighter right so 58.69 that was probably a target but i was seeing like a nice flush coming down so i was willing to to try and see if we could break down this level but then we started to pull back so i only got from let's see what that trade was Again, that's uh, 58, 78, 25 to 58, 74.5, right? So nothing, nothing much, you know what I mean? Just a little quick scalp, I guess, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that was, that was basically my trading day. So let's see where we're at. This is the last hour and we're at Camarilla Estuary again. Let's see what's this here. We have a uh, minus one VWAP, bottom central um, pivot level. Camarilla Estuary is coupled with the weekly bottom central. We have buying volume coming in here. Let's see, we have, um, we have the spikes to the, the selling side, right? From the market pulse. That's my VPA attack, right? And this is VPA dominance. We have some um, buying absorption happening here, right? That yellow spike right there. This is volume pressure, the volume attack, right? So that's volume pressure right there, that blue line. So we're getting some volume pressure. The selling volume is kind of um, weaning off a little bit. See, we come out. We came out of the the spike in range, and um, these two, this fuchsia and this red, they're moving back up. We're getting some buying spikes right now. A couple of icebergs executing. Let me take a look at something here. Now for a bowling green strategy, I need to have um, a little consolidation, right? Like a little build up between minus one and minus two VWAP. So we do have that right now. This is minus two VWAP. These I'm sure are minus two VWAPs as well. These are minus one VWAP. So all of them are basically in line right now from the ETH London RT8 session. So it's looking like it it's sizing up to be a breakout here of the um, minus one VWAP, but not really sure. We have these spikes here. Again, we have no follow through, right? And they don't have any selling pressure to really stop them. So they shouldn't really be pulling back right now. Let's go in a little closer again. Right, so the volume pressure, the selling pressure has eased up. We have a couple of buying spikes right there. Stop run, the uh, the red is a stop run. Icebergs buying, right? You can see it on the chart as well. Nothing too crazy, just like single digits, one double digit right here. Now we have a selling iceberg coming into play and um, pushing price down. Let's see if the, the selling pressure is moving down a little bit. No buying pressure right now. But no follow through on the selling pressure either. We have some selling icebergs coming in there again. You see that blue line spike into the downside. So it's basically looking like it wants to break down from Camarilla S3, probably come back down to this level here again. All right, y'all, so right, this video is 34 minutes. That's long enough. 
um, trade recap, just going over some order flow as well. And um, I'm really enjoying um, getting my edge back because this right here is definitely my edge. You know what I'm saying? This reading, this order flow and having stuff like a uh, market pulse and, and seeing the volume and um, the dots as well. So it's basically, this is basically here, time and sales that's um, arranged in, in a visual way where you can, you get understand instead of seeing those numbers just race past on a time and sales, you get a historical view of the time and sales, right? And this right here would be your, um, your level two, right? This is where the book is. This is the, the COB, right? That's the book right there, the level two. And you can see all of that, right? And you can see the time and sales and make um, judgments off of that. All right, you also, it's Malek Shalomo, you all trade safe and stay blessed.